Hi everyone, I'm Cleon Wong from ASRock. If you're going to install Windows 7 on your Braswell or Skylake platforms, one of the biggest problems that you're going to encounter is that because they removed the support for XSCI drivers, so your USB ports won't function normally. When you install your keyboard and mouse into the USB ports, then they probably won't move at all. So uh, one way, the quickest way to fix this problem is that if your motherboard has a PS2 port and you also have a couple of PS2 mouse and keyboard around you available and you're going to install it with an optical disk drive, then you can skip the USB and install Windows 7 normally. If you're using a Skylake platform to install Windows 7 and you have an optical disk drive but you don't have any PS2 ports on the rear row or you don't have PS2 devices, then another way that you can fix this problem is that you can go into our UEFI BIOS and go to the advanced page USB configuration folder and then there's a PS2 simulator tab which you can turn into enable. By enabling this then your USB mouse and keyboard uh, may function and you can install Windows 7 but after the whole installation we recommend you to disable the PS2 simulator uh, or your mouse or keyboard will be laggy if you want to install Windows 7 but you don't have an optical disk drive and you're trying to install it with your USB, then you'll have to use the last way, which is ASRock's exclusive Windows 7 USB patcher. You can download this app in our website or you can find it in our support CD. Execute it and then the first thing you'll have to do is go for the Windows 7 folder. Uh, this is, you can either use a USB or a Windows 7 installation CD. Now I'm using a USB, so I'm going to click on this one. Okay, and then you have to find your USB driver folder. Uh, you can also find the USB 3.0 drivers on our website or in our support CD. Right now it's on my desktop, so I'm just going to select it. Okay. And then ISO image destination is where you want to save the new ISO file. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. If you want to burn it into a CD, then uh, you keep this, uh, ch this box checked. But if you don't want to burn a CD, like I'm going to install it later with a USB, then unclick this checkbox and press start. Now that the patching is completed, we have the uh, new Windows 7 installation ISO file on our desktop. Then we can either burn it into a CD, which I could have done earlier by clicking this checkbox, or I could use a USB and just put it. Uh, use a tool to make a USB installation disk to install Windows 7. That's all. See you next time.